Between 1845 and 1921, records show that over 114,000 East Indian immigrants passed through Nelson Island, with up to 1,000 people being on the island at any one point in time. The National Trust has kept the Indian ancestors' memory alive with a walkthrough exhibit stationed in TNT's oldest continuously inhabited building. Where the exhibition is set up right now is actually an area used to house women and children over a century ago when they came to Trinidad and Tobago. This is what caught the attention of the Indian High Commissioner, who wanted to learn of TNT's history. Accompanied by Acting, Planning and Development Minister Alison West, they both toured the island in separate groups as the trust adhered to COVID-19 protocols. One building of particular interest to the High Commissioner was Marion Hospital, used as a convalescent site for Indian immigrants. This was Trinidad and Tobago's first state-supervised quarantine. When East indentured laborers came to Trinidad and Tobago, the ill were actually treated at the hospital, which there's I'm sitting on right now, the healthy women and children were transferred to nearby dorms and the terminally ill while they were transferred to Caledonia Island where Trinidad and Tobago's first crematorium was built. Following the tour, the High Commissioner said he wanted to come and thoroughly experience the island. Uh, you know, purpose of my coming here to feel it and see all this, you know, and then uh, go back educated and, uh, you know, more uh, sensitive to uh, the things that human being has gone through. He added that TNT and a number of countries around the world have been linked by one shared circumstance. What binds people together is sufferings. And, uh, you know, we are good friends because we have suffered the similar experiences. When asked if the High Commission of India would be open to partnering with the Trust, he responded, We are actually open to all possibilities, I can tell you. Acting Planning and Development Minister went one step further to explain the trust is already in discussions with the Commission. They're also looking at working with them in respect of the Magnificent Seven and the other historic buildings around the Savannah. So the partnership, I think, I can, it's safe to say, has started and we hope to build on that. Colleen Hussain, CNC3 News.